Okay, right. I don't know whether you, um, you had a little look at my book of trees I've been doing. So I've added the thing that, you know, this was on a, a previous video on things that have been given me for Happy Mail, which was, which was one of the things here, these tags. Um, that's part of the Happy Mail as well here, which opens out actually. So it opens out like that which was the Carol O'Reilly, thank you very much. And that was Tina, Hummingbird Tales. And I've got a few bits of this I've dotted around in this book of trees. There's another bit here that I've sort of, this was a flat, but I've taken it out and I thought it would actually look nice here because of the yellow there. And then back to wallpaper, which I'm doing at the moment, is I made an envelope from the template that I had for the TN that I've just finished so I'll post that video below on how to make the envelope so it's exactly the same I made it with wallpaper and um, it was a bit of wallpaper I didn't have very much of this one but I had like trees on massive great big trees but I thought that would look nice in there and I'm going to stick that down and then I'm going to have a tuck pocket here with something coming out the top. It is quite sparkly, whereas I think I actually quite like it, that little bit of sparkle, because it's still okay. But if it was a problem, I would gesso over it and that would dull it all down a bit and then ink it up after. So I coffee stained it, coffee stained beautifully. And that's a really nice textured envelope, love it. So I'm gonna stick that in there. Oh, I'm gonna have some team, uh, team binding, seam binding, <laughs> so we can actually shut the envelope. So I'll stick that down first, and I've inked that up to grunge that up a bit as well. So I'll use fabric tack for that. I think it's blocked. seems silly to not see that bit as well but I actually quite fancy that stuck there with some things underneath there as well so I that's how I felt I was gonna put it onto there and then I saw oh, it was a bit too much there so I'm gonna stick it down instead so make sure it's the right way around yep can do with this is take the pages out actually and work on them I haven't <laughs> quite like looking at it when I'm working okay leave that to dry yeah so that's, that's another little thing to go use it wallpaper for and I think that's worked really well so Coming on, this is actually. Actually, I might stuck this down while I'm here, if that's okay with everybody. I know we're doing more paper, but um, let's have a look. I can... Gently take that off, because I'm going to use that. I'm not going to waste that, because I love it. actually don't like covering up his <laughs> beautiful designs it really does irritate me um, I think I'm just gonna cut that down a little bit I really want it to take that off I'm not worried about that because I'm cutting that down just a little bit and I think I'm going to make a pocket there so I'm gonna cut that about there 
a centimetre off, I think. Sorry, Karen. <laughs> but I really wanted it in my book. Because <laughs> I love it. And now it fits. Perfect. Yep. So we'll make this into a pocket. Sorry, Tim Holtz. <laughs> I get really upset when I have to cover him up because I think his work is just beautiful. I know it's not him, he's got designers, but he still vets it, doesn't he? He's got such a good eye. Okay, and let's stick some of this down for decoration. I've used a bit of glue now on that because um, it's been taken off. So let's just get rid of that bit. Of... And it's not so sticky, so. <clears throat> Yep, I'm going to then carry on through here. But this, I think, will look nice there. So, got into a right mess here today. <laughs> that was because I was doing the tags yesterday. You know, the those ones. And I still got all my stuff out and it's just everywhere. Oh dear, never mind. Dry now. Make sure that's nicely stuck down there. I haven't got this washi tape. It's really, I think it looks like a Tim Holtz one. <clears throat> it's really nice. I've got a few of his, not many though. They're so expensive. It's like £7.50 here for this washi tape. I think was it this these ones were £10, something like that. Gosh, I think it's ridiculous. <laughs> I still buy them though. Um, let's have a look. I just think a little bit there would be nice. <clears throat> here we go and I've got a nice little tuck spot under there as well so I need a big tag I won't put anything in there now because it's um, not dry see this could be done with wallpaper too you know I've used material there and then gessoed it but you could use um, not material Wallpaper, you know, that would make a lovely book actually. It might be an idea to do one, mightn't it? I'm going to leave him in here because I do need to use these because they're lovely. Let's stick him in 
here somewhere because I've got a pocket there, I think. Yeah, just put him in there for now. That's lovely. And look at all the threads. It's really good. Really lovely. Little squirrel. <laughs> okay, right. I put him back then. That's just made an envelope from wallpaper for that journal. So again, lo I reckon that nice wallpaper journal would be nice, you know, with loads of different textures. That's if you had loads of different textures. I haven't really got many more with the texture in, but I should have some somewhere. I know my sister's got some. Hello, everybody. I thought I'd do a bit more work in my book of trees because we've done that. Um, yesterday so I thought I'd do a little bit more and I thought I'd just sort of go into a bit of how I sort of come up with things really to go in it with the colours and so I know I want some more tags to go in it and we I've enjoyed making these so I want some to go with this well colour coordinate with this because the other ones I've done the other day were blue and I want some green ones so I thought I would do three um tags well two to go in here there they go in there eventually like so and then that one will go there then I have a spare one okay and I just thought I'd talk a little bit how I come up with the colors so I look at what's going on here and then I'll pick out my colors like so this one okay yeah doesn't really go but we can I can work with that because we can add tea on on top of it or things like that because I just wanted a different color green all right so I'm sort of playing I haven't got no yellow even though we've got a bit of yellow there because I'm going to use the orange instead and this one we know is a really good color but it's a waterproof one but we can still use that in areas so that's how I come up with the colors um, and I also do a little um, thing like this to show me the colors What's going on that one we done previously that I've still got and I think that's that's quite nice that way so I like all those colors yep so I do that but I'm not going to use all these for now I'm going to start off with that one and that one for the tags and there the other colors I leave there in case I need to add a little bit more or anything like that so we shall work with those Okay, All right, so I'm going to go back and do what I normally do, which I am going to use two lots of colours today. So put that down and a bit of that, like so, and water, spritz that, like so, and I'm going to tiny bit of spritz water on the tag yeah and just literally play around with it that's fine for me okay I find that is okay for my first layer. I'm going to add some more, of course, but let's put some on the back as well. Just a little bit. Right. I'm not going to mop up these bits here because I quite fancy these might come in handy for something else. Okay. Let's get some colour on those. Okay. They're all dry. And I'm just going to, before I can do anything else, I'm going to add some tea all right with distress ink and I want those in a few areas because I want that color to to sort of change as I'm working with it so I'm going to do that now okay this time I add a bit of um, coffee and water 
that will change as well. I quite like that. So you can do this with embossing folders as well, but so I'm using a bit of wallpaper because I really like it. It's no different. Okay. Yep. A little bit darker somewhere. And the edges just just a little bit darker. And I haven't stitched around these yet, so don't worry about them if they're coming apart. <laughs> and if it's the first time you're seeing me use these, the makeup, makeup sponges, well, the blending, blending makeup sponges, very cheap. To our colours, okay. We'll try and get a little bit more depth in some areas. Um, I want a little bit of green first. I'm going to do it singly, I think. Now, just want to pick up a bit of that green, but it's a bit darker in places. didn't realise wallpaper took ink so well, actually. Okay, right, that's fine. I'm just going to put these in there. Not that. Okay. I'm going to dry that off. Righty -o. that's it, and I want a tiny bit more of this. Let's have a look. Just in down. I'm getting brave now. I'm just gonna do that, and I'm gonna add some tea. All right. Okay, and a little bit up there, I think. Okay, and then a little bit of tea, actually it's coffee, sorry. And then spray that. Okay, that's all done. Now I'm going to get the gesso out. Alright, it's got my gesso. Let's put a bit in the lid of that. I'm not worrying too much here because that's where I'm going to put some things there. So. I'm not going to worry about that for a minute. That's all I do, just stroke it. Just 
so there's a bit more texture. Really picks up the pattern beautifully. Dry them off a little bit. Okay. That's all dry. So now I'm going to go and find a bit bits of fabric that I think will work with it. I haven't needed to use any of that. Well, I might do after. You know, who, who knows? But at the moment, I'm going to add the... Uh, what I I might add that actually, yes, that's going to work. What we done use the on the blue tags. That's yeah. No, I'm going to use all that. So unless I find something else, so I'm going to have a look at my washi tape, and have a look for bits of material, and then I'll be back. Right. Okay. I think I've done it. I found some fabric that sort of went with it. So and I was didn't know which one to choose really. So. I've taken one of each, all right? And I thought with the one that's orange, because that's very orange, that will go nice with the green there. And I thought that greeny one might go nice with the orange. So I'm gonna do it that way. Okay, but still use the black and white butterfly there, which I thought was great. So I shall do one and then, um, shall I do the big one and then? I'll do the other off camera, okay? Which I mean, this is very, again, this is very similar to the other tutorials, if not exactly the same, really. Just that I've used um, different colors because I wanted a different color, so. So, because we're stitching, I'll come up a little bit, okay? This is green, so I'm going to use the orange. That's straight. Actually, I'm going to use a bit of glue on this one because it's not quite so sticky. about there I think get the frayed edge at the top because I like that like that and a tiny bit more orange Coming in a little bit, I think. I oh, yeah, a little bit more. I just want it to tuck under there, really. That's it. Get that tiny bit straighter. Okay, and a little ticket. And 
and a bit of play not the big one we've got three little ones and a big one so Ooh. and straighten that up there just so and that is going to sit there but i'm not going to put that on until we finish stitching okay but i'm going to do the other three and then exactly the same as that one and then i'll stitch them and then i'll come back to you okay okay they're all done well i've done I've, oh, I've made the whole hole in the top there which i'll put the reinforcers on so i'll do that and stitch it all around them and i thought with this one because the pocket's quite tight i'm not going to use the butterfly that's raised up I'm going to use a flat one you know just the normal butterfly here okay because I and then put the gems on it after because I don't want it to raise for the pocket because it's quite a tight pocket and I don't worry about the back because I'm going to add some ink on the back there or you know if you want to cover them to put lines on the back then do so when you um, stitch around them. I say I'm not journaling in my book, so I don't need them to be have lines on the back. It's more of um, you know what I'm doing with that tree book. It's more a sort of art journal, really. But I quite like doing different things and then putting it in a book like that, you know, just play around with tags and different things and then I'll just put it all in a book. Because I do love art journaling, but I haven't really got the time to do it. So this way I'm having my little play and um, it helps me, you know, because I sort of do miss art journaling. So this way it feels like I'm still doing it also having fun as well <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut this loop here so. just move that if you noticed just moved it slightly higher and into the side because I just felt as though it was too near in that one, like so. Okay, you got that. This is quite good, this one. It's a bit cheaper than um, Fabatac as well. So the Beacon 3-in-1, I quite like that. It's okay. It's not as so good for fabric as the Fabatac, of course, but... It, um, it actually sets quite quickly. That's there, just make sure that's, that's it. There's my other one. Up. And then this one I was going to do flat on my. Actually, I'm going to stick the whole thing down because it will most probably catch in the pocket if I don't. on make sure that's straight okay where are your gems OK, 
Okay, now I just got to find some stuff to go in the top. Oh, and gold. That's right, a little bit of gold. Right, found me gold. Um, for people that are just watching this one, I will. Um, it's Gilding Wax by Pebio. All right. It's absolutely. Oh, gosh, I've had that years. It lasts. You, know, you need so little of it. It goes such a long way. Like I say I always start on the outside, around the edges, in case I have too much on my finger. And then I'll go over, which I haven't. Not hardly any. Very lightly over, just to pick up some of that raised areas. Nice autumn colours going on here. Okay. Yeah, so we need now some fibres in the top and we're done and I'll put them in there, I'll find that and then we'll put them in the journal I've got and let's see how, what it looks like. Okay, I found some of this material which I thought looked quite nice and I thought I might just wrap this around instead and tie a little bow or something it together like that I'll tie a knot for this one because it will come undone if you don't okay. either lose leave it loose or just tie it back that's it Okay, and I'll do all of them like that, I think. Get these bits out of the way. Here we go, they're all done. So I'll get the book and we'll see how it looks, shall we? I might only I only need three really, but I usually make an extra one, so if I um send anybody happy mail or something, I can um put one in. Or I'll find somewhere else for it to go. Like I said, this this pocket was quite tight, so Okay, it goes in there. And then go in there. There's a bit more room in this pocket, so like so. Okay, I think I quite like that. It's really nice. That goes lovely with what Karen's done for me. Okay, so that's that area finished. I know we've got a pocket in here to put things in, but that, that's it really. Okay, so I hope you like that. Different different colour combination. But I think, you know, it's nice to do that. I fancy doing some, so, and I think it's just, I love it. The wallpaper's brilliant. The tack and, the, and it's good. It's, again, not too thick, not too thin. Brilliant. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.